What's going on everybody? Welcome back. And we are going to talk about the Volt Quartz and Extractor for your 1022. And we're also going to talk about some other problems that seem to plague some 1022s, uh, but are usually pretty easily fixed. Now, every 1022 that I have owned, I generally start putting different stuff on it. Most importantly, I change the extractor almost instantaneously. The one from the factory, no offense Ruger, it sucks. It just doesn't seem to always work that well. Ammo can have a little bit to do with it. So I wanna go ahead and get into these things and show them to you up close, kind of show you what I've explained. So you guys can hopefully, if you're having problems, get, uh, get them fixed. So we're gonna talk about that Volkortz and extractor and some of the other problems that plague some of the 1022s right now. Stuff, no need to take this apart, although you can if you wish, I don't know why you would. But the extractor, that part right there. Now that is the Volkortz and extractor. It is light years ahead of what comes in here. So if you're doing your maintenance to this, which you should be, you're gonna to wanna to check that extractor from time to time. So you can see the Volkortz in part, it's very, very nice, has a very, very sharp edge on it. Now I wanted to bring this in really quick to show you guys the difference. You can see all the room next to the trigger mechanism in there on this Butler Creek stock. Now what that does is it allows the pins in there, just like on the trigger block on this one, to actually kind of walk back and forth a little bit, which can cause some issues, actually causes the trigger pin to come right out and then it kind of becomes loose in there. So that is another issue that you could have in here um, that would be user caused, just like the screws in the top of that. Let's go get back up into the desk here and we'll finish this up. There are just no two ways about it. The Ruger 1022, it's just an iconic rifle and it's one that I owned when I was young. It's one that a ton of us grew up shooting. And it's just something that's so cheap to run and so fun. And there's just so much stuff out there for them that you can really, really uh, do anything you want to them and have a great time with them out there and, and have a great time at a really budget-friendly cost. I mean, the price of 22 ammo is so cheap. Don't buy the bulkiest junk on the market. Buy something decent to shoot. You'll have a better experience. But I really hope that this helped you guys out because like that first one I had, that thing was an absolute bear. I changed so much stuff in there before I was able to really get that thing running really, really well, and I finally did. But one of the things that still pains that other one is that Butler Creek stock. Every once in a while, I will get that pin walking out of that trigger mechanism, and it causes that to just kind of cant the trigger ever so slightly so it won't fire. So those are just the things you really need to look out for the 1022, but the main problem is probably gonna be that extractor. Such a cheap part, so easy to put in, that I think it's really worth just doing it to everyone you own. So you're just gonna avoid the issue outright, because eventually that Ruger extractor is just gonna stop working. It's just not machined the best. And when you put the Volkortz in one next to the Ruger one, you're going to be able to see the difference in quality. So I hope this helped you guys out. If you like what's going on here, hit the subscribe button for me. You guys get out there and have some fun. Get that Ruger 1022 out there with someone. I will see you guys on the next one.